Do you love trawlers as much as we do? If you do, you're in for a special treat today. This is the first in our occasional series called Trawler Tours. And today we're filming one of the cutest and most affordable trawlers we've ever seen. Plus it's right here on J-Doc. Come on honey, let's go! Hey y'all, welcome to the See All Life. I'm Andrea, this is Tom, and we have two pups. We're a couple of Texas transplants living the empty nest life to the fullest. For us, that's living part-time on our 44-foot de fever trawler in San Diego. Our hope is that as you join us on our dreams and adventures, we'll inspire you to discover your own. We're here today with Matt and Renee, and they're right here with us on J-Doc. Tell us a little about your boat. Yeah, so this boat is a 34-foot, 1981 Californian. Her name is Deep Blue. Deep Blue, that's a great name. Yeah. And how did you get into the boat life? So I've always been around the water, enjoying uh, smaller boats, and I bought this boat about a year ago, and I've been down here since. I have to tell you a funny story. A friend of ours used to own this boat, as you know. I tried to sell this boat to at least four people. Really? Oh, yeah. Some of our best friends who are actually here this weekend, I was sending them the pictures. I think this is one of my favorite trawlers I've ever been on. Yeah, it's beautiful. Home. It's beautiful on the inside. The exterior is great, too. It's a nice boat. Well, let's take a tour. Let's do it. All right. Welcome aboard Deep Blue. All right. Well, this is our galley. There's plenty of storage in the galley. We've got plenty of overhead space for food and what I would call junk drawers since we haven't quite totally moved into here yet. Luckily, we've got the double sinks, which is really helpful when we're washing dishes. Plenty of hot water, scalding hot water. We've got a built-in cutting board that we don't use because our television is here. We make our own coffee. We could walk down, but we prefer to make our own French press. It's much stronger. It's our snacks. <laughs> That's important. And Rooney has his own cabinet where he keeps his dog treats and his leaf. The countertop is a great surface. It is um, hard tile, but the tile was painted over by the previous owner. So it kind of brings a little classic effect to it, having the black, the contrast between the black and the wood makes the black really pop, makes the wood really pop. And so the piece de resistance of the galley is our lovely stove, runs on propane. We can cook many a pizza in our stove and have and did last night. Um, awesome. We've got three burners up top. We use the cast iron to cook our breakfast. We just put it over the two burners. Bacon, eggs all day. We've got the bar, the, the liquor cabinet, but we are getting low. We need the refill. Drying rack. <laughs> oh, and more drawers. Lots of drawers. Junk drawers over there. Cooking utensils, eating utensils. Um, we keep our pots and pans in the lower. And our plates are right there. So this is the other side of our galley. Um, over here we have a microwave we don't really use. Um, and then we have also have a, a small refrigerator and freezer in here. Some additional storage down here. We keep uh, towels, blankets, things like that. Um, dog food for our dog here. And then some additional storage and cabinets where we keep all our Yetis and coffee mugs. Um, we also have great under uh, cabinet lighting here. Uh, that really accentuates the light at night and makes the interior look great. So, love it, love those. We love our teak and Hollywood floors. So, this is our salon area. Um, it's really comfortable. It fits about three or four people here sitting on this couch. And then, another great thing about this is this actually slides out. It becomes almost a, a large bed um, that we roll out when we're laying out, laying, laying here at night watching television. Uh, we've had people stay up here. It fits about two people comfortably. Is Rooney allowed on the uh, Rooney's, couch? Rooney's allowed to do pretty much what he wants to do on this bed. All right, <laughs> Rooney, that's the way it should be. So down here we have under cabinet uh, storage. Um, and then also this is a uh, AC and heater. So we have air conditioning and heat on the boat, which is great. Because uh, we don't even have that in our house. <laughs> this is our engine room. Yep. On this boat we have two John Deere uh, diesel engines. They're 4.5 liters. Um, they're rebuilt in 2008, I believe, uh, and they, they, they purr. They're great, great engines. So another great thing in the salon are these large windows that open and close here. 
Um, we have on both sides, the starboard and the port side, which creates a nice uh, cross breeze through here, as well as uh, opening up this forward window here, a lot of uh, fresh air coming through the boat and keeps it cool. So a couple of uh, some of our favorite things on this boat are these walkie talkies. Uh, they're great when we're out and you know we take our, our dog to the beach and somebody stays on the, on the boat or uh, when I'm driving up top and Renee comes downstairs, I can tell her to grab me a beer. Um, so these come in handy all the time. Uh, this is a cool little lantern that my, my dad uh, brought down to the boat. Uh, it comes on and off here. It's pretty cool and it lights up the boat, just adds a nice, nice little light to the boat. Um, our binoculars that we quite often use. And then my dad also um, reads this Chap Chapman piloting book which is a really dry read, but it's a wealth of information and uh, actually highly recommend it. The boating Bible is what they call it, <laughs> yes, for sure. So this is our helm down in the uh, in the cabin here. Uh, don't typically drive from down here, we typically drive from up, up top in the flybridge. Uh, but all our controls are down here, throttle, shifters, uh, some navigation, and our panel board and all breakers are down here. All right, so down here we have our master stateroom uh, up forward cabin. And then on the port side, we have a additional um, bed down there. And then our heads over here on the starboard side. Come on down, check it out. This is the captain's quarters. Um, you can close the door for privacy. It comfortably sleeps two people. Um, there's plenty of ventilation and it serves somewhat of a closet when we're, when we're here. Then we've got the main stateroom where Matt and I stay. Um, it originally can sleep two crew members. You can take off the, the front panel, lifts up and removes so you actually create two beds. But we've got one large mattress in there. Um, we've got plenty of storage in the master, master stateroom. We've got cabinets along the port side and we use baskets for additional storage. In the winter time, we like to hang out in here and watch movies. So we've got a nice television set up against the wall. Um, plenty of ventilation again, windows, fans, everything to keep us very comfortable. This is where Rooney likes to sleep at night. So this is the control panel. It keeps Deep Blue afloat and everything running well. Um, stereo, we've got uh, air conditioner and heat in the boat, which is great. So we're back here on the aft deck. Um, this is where we have breakfast and dinner sometimes when we're on the boat. Uh, we've decorated it similar to the previous owner. We have uh, our plants hanging, which is sort of what we fell in love with when we first saw the boat from the previous owner. Um, and then we just sort of added a wind chime. We thought it'd be great out here on the water with the breezes and just relaxing and hearing a little wind chime in the background. In the mornings, we drink our coffee out here and we enjoy watching the people go by. Everybody's working out at the stairs. Uh, we've got a bunch of runners and jogger joggers. It's, uh, it's really nice to just sit out here and relax and watch people. In the evening, when we're having dinner, we have light switches up top for overhead lighting. It kind of shines down. It gives a little bit of a romantic feel. We've had up to four people sit at this table. We'll pull it out and we'll bring the other wing up and uh, bring the chairs down from up top and have a lovely dinner with some friends. So we're up here on the flybridge. Uh, this is where we typically drive from. Great views from all around. Have our shifter, throttle, steering. We have navigation system with the uh, awesome autopilot on it. So that's a pretty cool feature. Over here we have, uh, this is where our gas storage is. So when we're doing our cooking, all our propane, for our stove and everything runs from up here. Captain's uh, chair. Captain's chair. Nobody's allowed to sit in that chair except <laughs> you, right? <laughs> so over here um, on our aft deck, uh, we have our dinghy. It's a 10 foot dinghy with a small little outboard on it. So over here we have our davit. Uh, this thing's rated at 4,500 pounds. Uh, remote control over here, uh, bringing it up and down. So this thing really comes in handy when we want to drop the dinghy in, uh, into the water when we're out, in, out of sea. So one of my favorite things about being up here is we have speakers and it actually is a house control speaker. So uh, there's an app on our phone that allows, like, allows me to control the speaker sounds and changing the playlist from up here. Uh, and it's also set to different zones. So I can be playing certain music up here and then downstairs um, have a different type of music and also different, different controls down there. So the speaker system on this boat is really cool. Uh, and then we also have uh, something unique that's air conditioning up here in, this, in the flybridge as well. So this is the bow. Um, we hang out here a lot during the day. 
Uh, really nice covers that go on top of, the, of our, of our um, cushions here. Really nice cushions underneath. And then we also have a, um, a window here that pops up and ventilates the, the forward cabin as well. So this is a really great spot. We're at the end of the dock so we get to watch everybody walk in and out and uh, see all our fun neighbors. Hey Rooney, hey Rooney. Do you like boat life, Rooney? So cute. Okay, so last question, y'all. What is your favorite thing about living on a boat? Uh, my favorite thing about this boat is hanging out on the aft deck at nighttime, watching the people go by. I really enjoy having friends over and having sundowners out here on the, on the bow. Sundowners, my favorite <laughs> thing too. Can't go wrong with that. Well, thank you. Beautiful tour of the boat. We appreciate you taking the time for us and uh, good luck. Now, I have one more question actually. Do you plan on getting a bigger boat? Are you having that boat dream envy where you want to go bigger or anything no, like this, that? No, this boat is a great size for us and what we needed to do. So I, I want I a bigger boat. Yeah, <laughs> you always want a bigger boat. That's part of owning a boat, yeah. I did forget to ask you this. Do you go out on the water much? you take it out? We try and take it out about once a month is probably the most we get out, but I wish we could take it out more. I do too. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of people just have their boats as floating condos, right? And they just hang out on their boat. They look good and they can't even start their boat, let right. alone to take their boat out. So uh, good for y'all. It's fun being out on the water though. I and mean, we definitely enjoy going out and hanging out over uh, on Borietta Bay. Yeah, that's the best place. All right, well, thanks again. See y'all soon.